So welcome to Lyndon's 2022-2040, E equals everything. So we're going to cover the systems of life, the six systems of life, the culture tests, and the evil traits. So I've added a pyramid today. So that's a negative pyramid, negative health. Okay, it might be chaos down here. And that's a positive pyramid. And I've even dared to put the number one up there just to flash out all those evil people, but to give you the most unbelievable gift early in your life. You're here with your genetics, your goals along your path at your pace with your sacrifice and improvement speed in life, okay, especially with your belief system. And if you're seeing people attack me for doing this, helping humankind and natural world move forward as part of a 2022, 2040 restart, reboot, refresh, rebuild, or the great reset, it might be one of the reasons we're having a great resignation because they're not happy with all this stuff that's been going on here in society. And I call that a system, a system of life, okay? So if you see people being evil or negative towards me, they're sabotaging, not supporting, okay? They're hindering, they're not helping. It gives you a 99% clearer pathway to navigate your life through and stay away from the um, crocodiles in the creeks, piranhas in the ponds, okay? Snakes in the grass, hyenas in the hills and vultures overhead on the internet that'll pick your eyeballs out when you're stuck in the mud instead of lending a hand saying, are you okay? How can I help you? There it is, that took the oh, best part of 46 years, 400 plus thousand hours, 10 different backgrounds to sit out the gold in that, okay? And thousands of hours of just systemizing with notes and writing and drawing. And then 30 years also watching it, reading about it, reading a pile of books, studying, going to uni, um, living with Aboriginal Australians, Indigenous culture to go back 65,000 years, which is about 63,000 years older than many religions. It's also a continuous living culture. It could be argued that uh, over a couple of thousand generations, there's a, a lot of genius layered within that system. And I'm trying to simplify it here today in an equation for you. So Lyndon's E equals, this will be an equation you should use for the rest of your life just to sort out your life and make it simpler. It's one I wish I had decades ago, but I don't think any of my family or friends could have trained me for this because I don't think they realise how mean the world would become in the last 20 years, especially, and I've witnessed it out here in Australia, uh, from the internet especially, and we're looking like we're gonna lead the world in that area to try and clean it up and track down people uh, who are pushing people to suicide, which has happened in the outback here, which is not cool, okay? And hats off to Australia, we've got a lot of problems. We've had parliamentary inquiries every year on behaviour for 10 years. We, uh, we have definitely got problems out here in Australia, so don't necessarily follow our model. But it looks like at least we're dealing with it and addressing it. But I meet very few people at the last 10,000 university qualified presenters on panels. I've never seen them do this, okay? They just simply don't have solutions a lot of time. They don't have streetwise solution, sorry, street -wise solutions that I call at the front lines where you need it immediately if you're a cleaner or you're someone who's just under pressure, you're going through tough times in life down through here and you can't think clearly and you need a quick culture test to make your human resource officer actually stick up for your human rights, all right? Which is, yeah, not really happening a lot in Australia and that's why we had all those inquiries, but with, we're going through a bit of a reboot, restart, refresh, rebuild, and the great resignation you guys have going on overseas and girls, this is fantastic, it's a fantastic time to have a look at this and this starting to make sense of it. So for the most complex equations on the planet, for me, with a complex mind, okay, that loves these challenges, I use a system, an extreme high performance system, not extreme, but it's out there compared to what most people would use. And it took me my whole life to try and work out. And I call it Polar, P-O-L-A-A-R, and I'll talk more about that in the future, because that's almost like the impossible equation, okay? Uh, the impossible challenge, waking up trying to solve that Rubik's Cube to move humankind and the natural world uh, forward, so that's from Rock 8 to Rocket Science, CEO to clean up, out back to the Olympics, 8 to 80 year old. So good luck with that if that's your challenge too. <laughs> if that is your challenge, give me a call because there's very few people I meet. I don't have one single person that I know in my life that calls me and is uh, asking or you know, is concerned about or wants to help move humankind and natural world forward. So it's an extremely rare pathway. So let me just say that again. No one calls me to help the planet and to help humans. Now that's disturbing because that is the fundamental equation to move society, culture forward. No one's interested. Really interesting, isn't it? And it took a long time for me to even be confident to say that, but the phone's not ringing, okay? So imagine this is the planet, all right? Dark side, good side, moon. Uh, 
no lower slope of productivity, okay? High performance, high PE of productivity, creativity, fulfillment, meaning, belonging, autonomy, confidence, all right? There, imagine that's uh, the equator and it's a thin white line. Job, money, car, house, I'm a Jedi. Blinkers on, anyone that does anything different outside of that, anyone that talks differently outside of that, anyone that dresses differently, looks differently, is perceived to be smarter, chop down in a heartbeat. And we call that negative pyramiding. Uh, in the personal development scene, they call it uh, burning someone's house down. In Australia, you call it the tall poppy syndrome. I call it achievement anchor syndrome, all right? And in sport, we always see the best in humans and with children, we see the best in them, try and get them through to where they want to go and you know, give them a better planet to look after, hopefully. And the last generation probably hasn't done the best job in that, as per David Attenborough's statement uh, in his last book, 39% of forests left. The uh, climate summit at the end of 221, oceans full of junk, fish stocks depleted, mammal extinction here in Australia alone, we just burnt a billion animals through poor fire management a couple of years ago, and we just blew up a 46,000 year old cave with a room full of master's degrees that couldn't put their hand up and say, maybe this is a bad idea. So that's called culture, and if you make that decision, you don't have a culture where the beautiful culture we have here, where I live in, where I'll be buried in, where I work, okay, it goes back 65,000 years, and you can't make that decision, or you wouldn't make that decision as a 14 year old. So what's the use of studying for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, reading a palette of personal development books, doing a master's degree, getting a PhD, being a psychologist, doctor, environmentalist, work safety officer, if you can't put your hand up and say, maybe blowing this cave up is a bad idea, maybe not sticking to safety protocols on your oil rig when it blows up is a bad idea, as per Deepwater Horizon, maybe not telling the pilots that the computer override system jumps in and a couple of planes drop out of the sky is a bad idea. And all of it was for that thin white line, job, money, car, house, I'm a Jedi, because it's the pursuit of money, okay? So once you realize that there's a dark side of the coin and a bright side of the coin, yes, it's a superstructure we have for society to go ahead today. And yes, we do have to be grateful for that. Yes, yes, and yes. However, it's time for the reboot, as the Matrix movie says. We've been down that road, we know where it ends, and we don't like the ending. The mental and physical stats alone in this country, and I'm not gonna repeat them right now, you can look them up in your own country, are not good, okay, at all. That includes bullying, anxiety, depression, divorce, death by other means, like fatigue, domestic violence, stalking, and suicide. I call that the bad sacrament when I was researching evil and negative health and submitting to parliamentary inquiries. And as soon as I saw parliamentary inquiries not understand it and people that submitted to it, who are very, very smart people and taught me a lot, but as soon as I saw them not use work that we we know is needed at the front lines, I knew they didn't have a verification of competency at the front lines. And if you don't have a VOC in say in the mining industry, you're not allowed to drive a 300 or 600 ton crane because you're not qualified to do it and you're not competent to do it. So I call that the Black Hawk down front lines and that's the difference and that's why, that's my reasoning as to why that group and the 10,000 news presenters and producers and, and um, panelists can't, couldn't do this, you know, couldn't figure out this equation. Like that's a billion dollars worth of university degrees for what? And still burning a billion animals in, as of two years ago and we're still blowing up 46,000 year old caves. So I'm only, I'm only giving you a few little uh, examples here today of why I believe that system can help why it's needed. And if we uh, have those problems here in Australia with food, shelter, water, low unemployment, good hospital um, care, good schooling, wide open spaces, man, most, most countries are gonna struggle. And we have a small population and we still have those problems here. But luckily in Australia, it looks like we're gonna actually lead. There's a few foundations out here in the outback leading that whole internet process, which, which didn't work, which didn't have any law, any structure, any headmistress, any uh, policewoman, any red light camera, any judge, any real moderator, and it didn't work, okay? So a combination of that, and so a 65,000 year old country out here, where they do have um, yin and yang, carrot and stick laws to live by over a couple of thousand generations, and it could be argued that they're you know, friendly culture on the planet to be surviving over 65,000 years when so many cultures around the planet destroyed themselves in that time. So very valuable lessons. And I actually align with a lot of the stuff I did at university up here uh, 
uh, for performance psychology and performance physiology when we like training Olympians or uh, people at World Championship, Commonwealth Games, Pan Pacific Games, academies of sport, rugby sevens, cricket academies, Muay Thai kickboxers, powerlifters, eight-year-olds, tennis courts. Yeah, the whole kit, paramedics, CEOs, cleaners, everything. So it was very, very interesting, all that. But that's a snapshot. I've just loaded 400,000 hours into a few minutes on a clip. And I'm just letting you know where all those equations go and how I just shape this every single day, five minutes from when I work, wake up, right through tens of thousands of notes, sequential notes that are compounding in interest to get up to the highest level I can get to. And so this is the game, this is the equation, that's navigating life, that's a positive system of life, that's a negative one. You're here, you wanna make sure you identify the people in your life that are gonna push you down here. You want culture tests like that are listed on my podcast, okay? To hold the line, your line, with your belief system and your values, okay? At your pace, with your genetics, the rule of specificity, okay? That's a high performance rule as well, all right? For productivity, creativity, uh, fulfillment, meaning, and all those buzzwords, all right? That's the equation. I wish it was as simple as that for me. I nearly didn't survive this equation a few times, okay? Just to let you know, that includes being stalked and having to go to the police for helping people with this equation within companies, watching people destroy their own teammates with the same badge on them. And that's a complete loss of culture. I don't need to see that any longer for another couple hundred thousand hours that exists every single month in Australia. We have another company being fined for the full process of dehumanization. So it's a perfect time, 2022, 2040, restart, reboot, refresh, rebuild, the great reset. I hope you're part of it. I hope you'll assist me in being part of it. Now, the interesting one is watch people attack me for doing this. Watch people say nothing because I'm a negative pyramid me. They don't want me to be known as smart or good or my work's better than theirs. They don't, well, they definitely don't want me to be known as number one in an area. How are we gonna create a better society if that's our culture? So I want you to watch every single human around you for the rest of your life. If you don't see any other clip from me, just check this one out. Are people going to sabotage me? or support me, help me or hinder me with this process, moving humankind and the natural world forward because that's the number one goal. That's the top of the pyramid. That's the topic, the number one topic. The people in that area are the people we need to be focusing on. People with that focus point are gonna be good for humankind. They're gonna stop the evil traits with the culture test and move forward in your systems of life, okay? For your productivity, creativity, high performance, meaning, belonging, autonomy, competence, and all that. What That's what the zero harm, vision, mission statements, code of conducts, policies, and procedures just have not done. And the parliamentary inquiries prove that. I'm not gonna debate that, okay? With all this carnage, this like a like a snow plow going through here in around the world. So on one side, it's the environment, and that's proven. Go and look at the environmental stats. And on the other side, it's human bodies for that, okay? And I just believe it's time for a better model. We've been down that road. We've let the monetary system pretty much rule everything, okay? And if you don't believe that, have a look at how many people don't go home to their wives, uh, don't go home to their husbands, miss their anniversaries, don't get their health and medical and cancer checkups, miss their kids' first days of school. Just have a look at it. Do free work, 21st century slavery, get paid for eight hours, work 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and make an excuse not to turn up anyway because of work and everyone goes, well, that's okay. But as soon as COVID turned up, don't have to go to work with a cold. Oh, a health, the health regulators had to bring it in. Bang. And two, you can work from home now and you can be productive. And that's called high performance. We've known that for decades, all right? But they weren't in high performance. They weren't in human performance management. They didn't understand anything about humans. They don't study humans. They don't wake up every day to help humans, okay? They don't care about humans. They won't call you in five days, five weeks, five months, five years. They don't care. I've run that test over 30 years with all these people I was rescuing down this cycle and they'd have less than like a couple of people and you wanna make sure you have the couple of people and the only way to do that is not to get sucked into that and make sure you're here because you have to maintain your relationships with family or friends or you're gonna go through high tide and low tide like this. And everyone goes through high tide and low tide. So that's the, um, uh, like a new moon phase to our first quarter and that's the mastery of the six seasons I do up here. What's this week? 2,408, so quite a bit of work. There it is. No notes, straight up, bang, the systems of life. 
And the start of six um, systems of life is the life work line or the life study line, okay? And it's really important you have one. Basically, it's a base level equation. If you don't have it, you're basically gonna be abused everywhere you go in the business sector, okay? You have to have that life work line. A lot of old people are gonna hate it. A lot of old people hate the word balance. They try and force me not to use it. They try and coercively control me. They don't want me to talk about corporations. We've met a lot of people in the last year that have retired that do not have an identity outside of work, job money, car, house, thin white line, one degree line, blinkers on, and they start attacking you if you talk like this, which is coercive control, which leads to domestic violence, and that's proven in Australia. If you need to look at that, go and look at some parliamentary inquiries, okay? Or just think about how it makes you feel. All right, well, I'm trying to do is help humankind and natural world go forward, and to do that in high performance sport or being a doctor, we need to know the heartbeat of the nation, the blood pressure of the nation, the cholesterol, okay? In elite sport, we'll do body fats every Monday. Someone won't need a chocolate for 10 years. Like seriously, SAS candidates will train two hours in the morning, two hours at night, pack marching in the night, rolling down hills, and do push-ups at work every hour, 80 plus at a time. So that's called sacrifice and improvement. That's called high performance, all right? Mm, really, really interesting when you look at it from many different angles, and Edward de Bono's work is very clear about that if you're not clear, okay? But looking at it from a one degree line, the pursuit of money justifies everything, has planes dropping out of the sky, oil rig blowing up, 46,000 year old caves destroyed, reefs being destroyed, mammal extinction, depleted oceans, garbage floating around the oceans. So we've been down that road, and I think everyone's been marching for the last decade or so, or doing their thing on TV, which is fair enough, good on you for speaking up. What you're actually looking for is a better system of life, all right? So I am number one at something, I think I'm number one at about three things. Might be number one at my street, <laughs> district, local area, state, nation, the world, the universe. It doesn't matter by what metrics, who, what, where, when, and why. But I'm gonna put number one out there because I want to rattle. I want you to see everyone that's evil, everyone that's negative. Because if they're gonna be negative to a guy in the outback doing this, okay, and then he died doing this and you're chasing money in a job that they might not think is too important, they're not gonna support you at anything, all right? Let's be really clear about that. So I've launched my first experiment. It's just been loaded up. I've done a 2022-2040, restart, reboot, refresh, rebuild in fishing. We have a lot of bullying, intimidation, and harassment in fishing. The outdoors is the fifth link in a five link chain of life, which is really important. The natural world, green time, which is the opposite of the screen time. And if we're not safe in Australia in the outback and green time, we can't stop being abused by other people. We have complete culture loss. And I think a lot of this has started from the internet, competing for the sake of competing for no prize at all other than misery to get this photo to be the hero. And I've addressed that in a half hour clip on uh, Lyndon's fishing, dream time to real time. This clip here will most likely be aligned to my podcast, Lyndon Anley's Ark, Systems of Life. Check that out. I have a few culture tests on there. Now, I'm specifically aiming this clip at teenagers. I want you to watch how adults react. So I've released my first clip here on the work life line. It's about a 15 minute clip. And at the moment, no adult is game to hit like. They won't comment, maybe one person will comment. What they'll do is they'll move around the clip and they'll click like on a truck crossing a river or a um, a bit of footage of some wildlife because it's not about me because they don't want to admit that I know more than them. It's a competition and it's not a competition. I've given that group 15 to 30 to 45 years to work with me and they don't call, okay? I've given all of that group a chance to work with me, all right? They want me down the bottom of a pyramid. They don't want me up here. <laughs> and straight away, as soon as you get a human that's not happy for you, that wants you to be healthy, that wants you to have a good life, they're negative. And so then when you're navigating life, you can be 99% clearer on who you include in it, who you put into your week, what, where, when and why, and who's actually gonna be there to support you in hard times. So it gets rid of 99% of the dead water. That's the equation I wish I had 20 years ago, okay? To know that I was on the right path 20 years ago and to be steered the wrong way, and lose nearly a couple hundred thousand hours of my life through bullying, intimidation, harassment, stalking, the whole kit, but rescuing people from that to get out the back end of it and still have friends, family, or whoever it is, jealous, 
unsupportive of me uh, to do this equation, but I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere, this work's going out no matter what. And I don't want you, your friends, family, um, son, daughter, niece, nephew, mother, father, co-worker to go through what I've been through, and that's why I'm getting this out. So this is an awesome cookie crumbler, if you watch The Matrix, an amazing culture test. This equation is going to be around forever. So I'll just let you know in terms, this is what I think this equation is in terms. This is a nine second, 100 meter time. This is like E equals MC squared. That's what this is in the realm I'm in to move humankind and the natural world forward, okay? Your road, your pace, your genetics, okay? Your sacrifice and improvement speed. That's a lot for one equation, isn't it? Cool stuff. And I'm still motivated by it. I still wanna do it uh, and I reserve the right if this test, uh, is, a human's worth helping is uh, the first podcast. There's no perfect human, it's the second podcast, okay? Just look that up, Lyndon and Lisa. It's a long name. You won't find that pretty much anywhere else. And here we go. I might just work with children and teenagers. So it's an awesome test. I'm looking forward to seeing the, the country that's the most supportive, um, the, the culture, the, the race, the generation. I really am looking forward to it. It's an amazing test and I'll, I'll get all this back on Google Analytics, all right? And then animals might be the most supportive, all right? So yeah, it's a hell of a test, but I, I'm at my wit's end. I, I have to be able to talk in ugly terms, um, the bad terms, and then relate the good and the great. I need to talk in those terms so that we're on a map in genuine factual reality so that we can have accurate plans moving forward. Otherwise, everything is a lie from there on if we say we're Jedis, okay? Because we have job, money, car, house, mainstream dream. And most people are in that. That realm, I'm not in that realm, and that's why when I talk like this, it's like falcons through pigeons, lions through lemmings. They can't handle it, they don't want it. They want me back down here, they're gonna criticize it, they're gonna burn my house, it's a cheap and anchor syndrome me. And that's what you call uh, culture cancer, toxic, whatever you want. Can't have them around you, that's for sure. So if I knew this 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, oh, I would have taken them on in a heartbeat in one second. Absolutely, I would have held my ground, I would have defended myself, wouldn't have lost health, I wouldn't have been pushed down pathways where I could have died, I wouldn't have, I would have been able to solve heaps more bullying, anxiety, depression, divorce, death by other means, domestic violence, stalking and suicide. And that's the gift that I've just given you to use, okay? This is, you're gonna be using this for the rest of your life, I probably will be needing support to do this, and I'm not talking about following, I'm talking about support, because there's gonna be people now that are gonna try and use this against me so to silence me, because this is the real game, the front lines, the Black Hawk Down, okay? Front lines, the daily rhyme. And so everything you wanna do, everything you wanna be, everything, every book you read, every show, every dream you have, everything has to go through that system. We undulate like high tide and low tide. This is before, uh, proven through performance psychology, performance physiology, but obviously perfect marks in say university and all that stuff I was talking about before. That's Excel spreadsheet land. And it's proven over this way, uh, spiritually and culturally, for 65,000 years on Aboriginal land. So it's a nice little combo. That, that took decades of torture. I don't wish anyone to go through that, to find out and test the whole fabric of society that one did. And the Work Life Line clip one will explain more about that. This is part two. This one's mainly aimed at teenagers and young adults and people are out there that want a better life, who want to create a better world for you, you want to know how to do it. But in the end, if people aren't going on this line, we might have a 2040 deadline, remember? Well, you're going to have to force their hand. You're going to be the next news producers and presenters, okay, to present evenly, okay, all right? Uh, for all genders, generations, races, all right? You're going to be the next politicians. Boy, that's going to be a hard job. And you're going to be the next parents, teachers, okay, mentors. So you need a system to bolt it to. You need a root structure, okay, for the branches to go on and the bright and shiny leaves and flowers. Okay, so 326 page book is a flower. All right, leaves, tips, podcasts are tips, but they all have to travel through a road and it's that road. That's just one road of hundreds of roads I have. It's like having a um, air, aircraft hang up with a million dollar chips, okay, lined up in a casino chips so I can play moves all my life, for anyone who wants to steal my work, or I can load them up with bombs and I can just bomb away, okay, so just, Stay away from me and my work if you're gonna do that. I've had my work stolen for 10 to 15 years in another area, including one hour after I post, my words get reversed. Other people use it in courses to sell stuff. So <laughs> I've had enough of internet and uh, I've had plenty of time with Australian Society of Authors and the Law and Art Society. 
police and all the rest of it, psychologists and doctors talking about what are these people actually doing to me? Is it good for my health or is it not? Is it good for other people's health? Is it good to create a system to move humankind forward or not? And I'm at the back end of that now. Now I'm getting all this out there. And remember, you go through six Aboriginal ceremonies out here. It's a ceremony to receive knowledge. Knowledge is currency out here, not money. I don't owe you anything. All right? That's the age of entitlement. We get abused here in Australia. We don't give other people our Coca-Cola recipe for free. We get abused in person in certain areas. And I've taken that on in the fishing sector. Like five minutes ago, I loaded that clip up and you watch. So I'm going to test a sector now. That's that sector. Later on, I'll test different uh, the corporations. I'll test mining. Uh, I'll test education departments. The whole kit, the full system is going to get a test, but it's going to have solutions going through. Now, some of these tests are three word tests. Three words, all you have to remember when you're at a meeting, when you're under pressure, you're being intimidated and you're har being harassed, okay? So I believe it's next level. The palette of books I've read or getting through the 10,000 professors I've seen on panels the last 10 years alone haven't been able to answer this, okay? The podcasts I've listened to have been able to answer it in different ways they do. And there's geniuses in podcasts that are way ahead of me in tons of areas, and I'll talk about that later. But this is Black Hawk down front lines at the street where the bullets hit you and you need that verification of competency there. And I notice a lot of that group of millionaires or billionaires you know, getting salmon flying from Alaska, doing their work in hot tubs, and that's why they can't relate, okay? No offense to them at all, but I'm just being straight down the line. That is a nine second, 100 meter equation there. That's E equals MC squared equation. That's where that equation is. Believe it or not, no worries, but that's, we're not gonna hold back. This just gets even harder and um, we're joyful, really, and there's a lot more happiness in it. That makes life easier, and you never want your car derailed down that road. And you don't even know you're being derailed that, down that road. That's the thing when you're being pushed down here. And most people don't know where that road ends because they've never been there. They're not qualified in it. They don't know what to do when they're going down it. They can't even identify. They make all these really bad relationship mistakes there with friends or family, or, or they just don't survive it physically and mentally. Okay, so you don't want to be there. And if you want to be in a higher performance or high S performance, well, that, that's the line, okay? I can't put an assignment in a uni without that being the line. Culturally, in the outback with Aboriginal Australians, that's, that's the path there, okay? And that's 65,000 years of research there, all right? So, complex made simple is the art of coaching. Uh, they're huge topics. They're the biggest topics on the planet, and so they should be. There's almost no one works in the area of, I call it, in search of mastery. Maybe we don't master anything, but that's environmental. Okay, that's seasonal animal behavior in there. Moon, tide, and time, like that chart I've got just over there, week 2,408, mapped to the hour, mapped to the minute, mapped to the second, oh, barometer, humidity, water salinity, water temperature, water color, water flow, stage of the tide, angle, cast angle, retrieve angle, cadence, so technical, okay, very, very technical. And then human behavior, physical, mental, technical, tactical, into a lifestyle, perfecting a week for a shop putter who wants to eat ice cream every night, or a long jumper that might not eat chocolate for 10 years. <laughs> so complex. So that's the world I live in. That's what I do. And that's the equation I work on every day. All right? It's a rare field. Haven't met anyone in it yet. Okay? And hope too. People smarter than me in many other fields, okay? But if anyone reacts from a clip like this, I've got a whole stack of evil traits. They need to listen to my podcast because you shouldn't be reacting because you want to hold me back. You've got insecurity issues, okay, mental health issues. You should be building pyramids, helping, supporting instead of sabotaging, okay, helping instead of hindering. But you have to pass the you have to pass the evil traits test to do that, okay. Dalai Lama can, all right. My five year old niece and nephew can. But masters of business students struggle. I've got people that own twenty thousand dollar personal development courses, the most expensive ones, paying even more than that. They can't pass a three word culture test to hold the line to stop bullying. So what would you do that course for? People that have read libraries of books can't pass a culture test. But you don't know until you test it, and you don't know until you've gone to battle, you don't know until you've gone to battle for thirty years and just return. Until the, to print the data, and the data is so good, you watch um, parliamentary inquiries miss the gold in it. You put a bit of gold in there. You put a you put an acronym. You know it's going to help humankind. You know it's happening every day at the front lines, everywhere through the five link chain of life. And you just watch. You watch all of them miss it, and then they want to use this topic over here. 
they don't use that and you go ah so you know where they're at and they're back they're like 50 years out of date and you sit there thinking well if we've got a 2040 deadline it's no use using their data their podcast their books their work they don't know and there's a lot of people using vulnerability right now that don't have a clue about vulnerability in the work site. You get butchered alive in many work sites if you're vulnerable. You need to know how to use it, you need to know when to use it, okay? And that's navigating life. And you can only do that if you've got these, this type of setup. So the ugly, the bad, stopping it, the good and the great. That's that equation. Linden's 2022, 2040, E equals everything. <laughs> What an experiment. Let the journey begin. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it, really. I might be better off out of phone signal on an Aboriginal community, filming the natural world and learning from a 65,000 year old culture. Okay, that at times, and I learned one story, creation story, is ahead of any book that I've ever read, any course we've ever done. So it's that profound, all right? So we'll see what test, but I hope this helps you out. This one's mainly for teenagers, so I just want you to look back on how adults are going to react to that first work lifeline clip. And I've just changed it a little bit. I might go study lifeline, okay, um, or life work line, but it's part of the systems of life from the Aboriginal creation time, dream time to real time, okay. Going back over 65,000 years here in the outback. My name's Lyndon Anlizark, and I thank you in advance for supporting me, and I wish you all the best in your life. Thank you.